This tutorial video is about right triangle similarity. Now several of these questions revolve around having a right triangle uh, with an altitude. That's what this is right here. All right, When you have a perpendicular line going out to the hypotenuse like this, um, it making two more, two smaller right triangles on the left and the right. Um, that's a special situation and it creates a few formulas that you're going to want to write down. So here come some notes. If I were you, I would take out a sheet of paper and I would draw this picture and copy down these three formulas. All right, Because uh, these equations are going to help you do several problems on this test. I've used the letter A here because this is the altitude of the triangle and uh, you know this is actually a, a right the, the big triangle is a right triangle as well so I use A for altitude now looking at the big triangle you have leg 1 leg 2 and then of course the hypotenuse so that's why I did L1 L2 and H now looking at the hypotenuse of the big triangle um, which I called H, these two parts of the hypotenuse we could call part one and part two. Notice how I have part one and leg one on the same side, and I have part two and leg two on the same side. All right, that's important when you're doing these formulas. Okay, now what do these formulas mean? I hope you wrote them down because I'm going to wind up sort of erasing them. So let's focus on this top formula first, the one that involves the, uh, the altitude and the two parts. So hopefully you see that this is saying that the altitude squared is equal to part times part. So let's jump down to a different picture for, for a moment. So say if I knew that this was x and I knew that um, this was 3 and this was 7, that formula would say that x squared is equal to 3 times 7. So x squared would equal 21 and x would wind up being the square root of 21. Alright, that's what that formula is saying. Okay, um, let's look at the next formula. The one involving the leg and a part and the hypotenuse. And it's saying the leg squared is equal to part times hypotenuse. Leg 1 squared is equal to part one times hypotenuse. Okay, so again jumping down here, um, say if I knew, say if I call this x and uh, what did I say, this was three and this was seven, let's go with that again. Say if I had this, so the little formula said that the leg squared, all right, so that would be x squared, should equal the part, you know, part one, all right, the part that's with the leg times the hypotenuse. Well, the hypotenuse is both of these put together. So the hypotenuse is 10. All right, so the leg squared should equal part times 10. All right, part times the hypotenuse. Um, okay, what if, um, you know, I'll call it y since I'm throwing it over here. What would be the situation now? All right, because this is the other formula that's really the same thing, just on the other side. It's another formula about this. You know, this time I'm talking about the other leg. Um, I'm talking about y. So again, it should be leg squared is equal to part times the hypotenuse. But it's got to be the part that's over here on the same side as the leg. So I'm going to say 7, and then the hypotenuse is 10. All right, and then you could go from there. Okay, so those are the basic formulas that we're going to use uh, many times on this. So when you see a right triangle and then an altitude, um, think about those three formulas. All right, so here we have one of these triangles. It's a right triangle with an altitude showing. And it's uh, asking, what is the value of y? So here is y over here. So that is a leg of the large right triangle. So let's remember that one of our formulas goes like this. 
um, the leg squared is equal to part squared, no, <laughs> false. The leg squared is going to equal the part times the hypotenuse. All right, and it has to be the part that's nearby. So y is the leg, so that means y squared is going to equal the closest part, which is the 6, all right, part of the hypotenuse, times the entire hypotenuse. So the entire hy hypotenuse is 8 because of the 6 plus 2. So this is our formula. So this means y squared, 6 times 8 is 48. And uh, to get y by itself, we're going to take the square root. So y is equal to the square root of 48. And I'm going to use the calculator to help me out. Uh, the square root, whoops, wrong button. The square root of 48 is 4 radical 3. All right, so y is equal to 4 radical 3. So this should be the answer right here. And there you go. Okay, let's see what's next. Again, we have a right triangle with an altitude. So remember those formulas. What is the value of A? All right, that is a part of the hypotenuse. Now notice we're not given either one of the legs. So we're probably not going to use that leg formula. So the other formula was like this. The, uh, another formula said if you have the altitude, which is in this case is the 4, the altitude squared is going to equal one part times the other part of the hypotenuse. Altitude squared equals part times part. So here's the altitude, here's one part, here's the other part. So this should work. So altitude squared, so that's 4 squared equals part times part. Well, these are the two parts. So that's 3 times A. Um, 4 squared is 16, so 16 is equal to 3A. To get A by itself, we are going to divide both sides by 3. Okay, so this is basically the answer, 16 over 3. Now, um, so I know that that is not 5 and that is not 7. So it's a matter of uh, which one of these it is. And I'm seeing mixed numbers and such. So fine, how many times does 3 go into 16? Um, well, it's, it goes in 5 times with some left over. Um, now, if we were really going to do this old school, all right, 16 divided by 3, we could do it like this. Man, this takes me back. 3 times what is 16? Well, the closest I can get is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. And then you subtract, and that leaves a remainder of 1. Now, what do you do with this remainder? Well, you take that remainder of 1, and you put it over your divisor. All right, so 16 divided by 3 is 5 and 1 third. So that's why this is the answer right here. By the way, if you don't have a calculator like this one, uh, my TI-30XS MultiView, you should get one uh, because this calculator will do that for you. So 16 over, whoops, let me try that again. 16 over 3. Okay, if I want to change this to a mixed number, see um, above this button here, it has a little fraction becoming a mixed number. So I'm going to hit second, and I'm going to hit that button, and I'll just hit enter. And so there, 16 over 3 is 5 and 1 third. So get, get yourself one of these calculators. They're only like $15. Anyway, let's move on. So what's next? What is the length of BC? Well, BC is this length right here. We don't actually need our new formulas about parts and altitudes. 
um, we can use something old and familiar. The uh, Pythagorean theorem. A long time ago we learned that leg squared plus leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Okay, that's the Pythagorean theorem. It was often summarized by saying a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And um, so these are the two legs and 17 is the hypotenuse. So we could go like this, x squared uh, plus 8 squared is equal to 17 squared. Just We could just simply use the good old Pythagorean theorem. So that's x squared plus 64 is equal to, what is this, 289? Let me double check, 17 squared, yeah. So subtract 64 from both sides. Okay, so that leaves you with x squared is equal to 225. Take the square root of both sides, and x is 15. So this is the answer right here. All right, next question. Now this looks like um, we have a leg, and then we have both parts of the hypotenuse. So we should be able to use the formula that went like this. Leg squared is equal to part of the hypotenuse times the entire hypotenuse. All right, that was one of our formulas for this scenario. X is the leg of the large right triangle. So X squared is equal to part. Okay, we it has to be the part that's adjacent to the leg, all right, the part that's right next to, nearest the leg. So I'm gonna put the nine goes here. And then the hypotenuse. Uh, so when I say hypotenuse, I'm talking about the entire hypotenuse of the large triangle. Nine plus 16 is 25. So the hypotenuse here is 25. So there you go, x squared. 9 times 25, I don't know what that is. Oh, look at that. Um, it's 225. And then once you take the square root of both sides, you get x is equal to 15 again. Awesome. All right. Uh, what is the length of BC rounded to the nearest tenth? Okay, uh, BC, BC. So this is BC right here, where I'm going to put an X. So, hmm, this is pretty interesting because I, I think we're going to have to do this in two stages. I don't have the right information for either one of the formulas that I want to do. So um, let's call this, let me change colors for a second. I'm going to call this Y. We have enough information to find Y, okay? Because one of our formulas involves the altitude and the two parts of the hypotenuse. So we can find Y. Then after we have Y, then, then and only then can we find X. So we're going to have to do this in two stages. So uh, as far as these three pieces, the formula uh, goes like this. The altitude squared is equal to uh, part times part. Alright, you know, part one times part two of the hypotenuse. So the altitude is the 12, so that means 12 squared is equal to part times part, so that's going to be 5y. So that's 144 is equal to 5y. And then if I divide both sides by 5 to get y by itself, okay, um, let's see how bad this is. So 144 divided by 5. All right, it's 28.8. That's not too bad. I'll just, I'll deal with that. So 28.8. So that is the value of y. So I can go ahead and put that value in now. 
So this is 28.8 right here. So now I can go about finding x. So now I have a choice. Um, I could find x by using one of our fancy formulas. I could use the formula that goes um, leg squared is equal to part times the whole hypotenuse. I could do that. Or I could use the Pythagorean theorem. If you focus on just this triangle right here, okay, that is a right triangle. And I have a leg, and I have another leg, and I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So I could use the good old Pythagorean theorem. Now if you were here, I would ask you which one you want to do. Um, I know you know how to do the Pythagorean theorem, so just for practice, let's go ahead and use this new formula. You know what, maybe I'll do it both ways. I'm greedy like that. So, okay, leg squared equals part times hypotenuse. X is the leg of the, uh, if we're talking about the big triangle, so that would be X squared is equal to the part of the hypotenuse that's nearby, so 28.8 times the entire hypotenuse. So this is the entire hypotenuse. So I have to add 28.8 plus 5. So that would be 33.8. Okay, I just did 5 plus 28.8. Okay, 33.8. All right, so that'll give me x squared is equal to. Um, so, okay, let's multiply this together. So 28.8 times 33.8. All right, so that's 973.44. Okay, so if I want to get x by itself, I need to do the square root. So square root of 973.44. So square root of 973.44. So 31.2. All right, so this should be the answer right here. All right, so that's one way to do it. Um, but I could also do the Pythagorean theorem. So let me go back and do it that way as well. I still needed to find the 28.8 first. All right, I don't see any way around that. But so here's another way you could have solved it by doing the Pythagorean theorem. Looking at the yellow triangle, um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 12 squared plus 28.8 squared is equal to x squared. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So, you know, I could type all this in in pieces, but here's something I like to do for fun sometimes. If I want to get x by itself, uh, you know I have to do the square root, right? So if I do that, that will get x by itself. Sometimes it's fun to type this entire expression into the calculator just the way it is. Um, so couldn't I go ahead and do the square root of, what was it, 12 squared plus 28.8 squared. So 28.8 squared. So there you go, 31.2. So either way, we get that same answer. Oh look, that's the end of this tutorial video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you took good notes. Go ahead and give your quiz another try.